Title, Discover the Path to Fluent English. Humorous, thoughtful steps that make every moment count. Welcome to Synergy Nexus Innovations, the holding company of Canada Smart Mind. We're here to guide you on a journey filled with planning, organization, and fresh ideas for the future. In this video, I'll be your guide as we take a dive into learning English through three powerful steps. Menu for learning English in three steps. One, theory of gerunds. Discover the intricate yet exciting world of gerunds in English. This theory will unlock the foundation of many English phrases and will reveal where, when, and why gerunds fit right into sentences. Trust us, this is knowledge that you'll carry through every conversation. Two, real life examples. Three unique examples showcase how gerunds appear in everyday life. We'll add a dash of humor, some soulful phrases, and even a hint of Canadian charm. Three, interactive quiz time test yourself with 10 sentences, each with three possible answers. Try your hand before we reveal each answer in detail. Vous êtes-vous déjà demandé comment l'anglais et le français structurent leurs phrases Tout est question de SAC, sujet, action, complément. Ce simple acronyme constitue l'épine dorsale de nos cours de langue. Que vous débutiez ou cherchiez à perfectionner vos compétences, nous avons ce qu'il vous faut. Contactez-nous dès aujourd'hui pour en savoir plus sur nos cours. Visitez notre site web pour plus de détails, lien dans la description ci-dessous. Embarquons ensemble dans ce voyage linguistique et découvrons la beauté de l'anglais et du français. Je remercie tout le soutien de Canada Smart Mind et merci beaucoup d'avoir regardé cette vidéo. Je te verrai au prochain. Understanding gerunds in depth. In English, gerunds are verb forms ending in ing that function as nouns. Think of these as the multitaskers of the language. Whether you're enjoying a sunset, thinking of the future, or even dreaming of your next step, gerunds keep the language lively and flowing. Gerunds work in many ways. They can act as the subject of a sentence, like in reading improves the mind, or as the object of a verb, such as I enjoy swimming. They even appear after prepositions, as in she's passionate about teaching. Gerunds blend seamlessly with verbs and give phrases a rhythm that's essential for fluency. Understanding these small but powerful words can improve your grasp of English, especially as they bring a special charm to your sentences. Examples to inspire your English journey. Let's go beyond theory and put gerunds to use. 1. Traveling opens the heart to new cultures and ways of thinking. 2. Cooking for loved ones is a small joy that creates big memories. 3. Learning something new every day keeps the spirit young. Quiz time. Test your skills on gerunds. Below are 10 sentences. Choose the correct answer from the options provided. Then at the end, I'll walk you through each answer with detailed explanations to help you understand the reasoning. Remember, this is all about challenging yourself. Be ready to learn something new. 1. I am interested in A. A. Run. B. Running. C. To run. 2. He spends his weekends A. To hike. B. Hiked. C. Hiking. 3. She avoided the question. A. Answering. B. Answer. C. To answer. 4. His goal is A. Winning. B. Win. C. To win. 5. They talked about a party. A. Having. B. Have. C. Had. 6. We look forward to. A. Meet. B. Meeting. C. Meets. 7. I was so busy. A. Work. Working. C. Worked. 8. He apologized for. A. Being late. B. Late. To be late. 9. They feel like going out, to go out, C. Go out. 10. She enjoys A. Paint, to paint, C. Painting. Answers and explanations. 1. B. Running. Gerunds often follow interested in to indicate activities. 2. C. Hiking. Spends is generally followed by a gerund to describe regular activities. 3. A. Answering. Avoided typically pairs with a gerund, as in avoided answering. 4. C. To win. Goal is requires an infinitive for clarity. 5. A. Having. Talked about calls for a gerund, as in having a party. 6. B. Meeting. Look forward to is a phrasal verb ending with a gerund. 7. B. Working. Busy is paired with a gerund in English. 8. A. Being late. Apologized for uses a gerund. 9. A. Going out. Feel like is followed by a gerund. 10. C. Painting. Enjoys is usually followed by a gerund to show pleasure in the activity. Canada Smart Mind est fier de proposer un didacticiel de prononciation bilingue en anglais et en français. Si vous cherchez des éclaircissements ou souhaitez établir un contact, veuillez nous contacter par message. 
Les détails sont fournis dans la description, y compris le lien vers notre site web et les coordonnées. Nous vous invitons chaleureusement à profiter de cette ressource précieuse. Rejoignez-nous dans le voyage pour affiner vos compétences en prononciation. Your engagement matters. Don't forget to like, comment and share to boost this video's reach. These three free actions help us create more quality content for you. And remember, Synergy Nexus Innovations through Canada Smart Mind offers daily courses in English and French, as well as a job search service for only 20 cents a day. It's flexible, affordable, and tailored to fit your lifestyle. Links are below for easy access. Do the work. No miracle awaits. The journey to learning is yours to conquer.